guys, welcome to Eating Green on Quarantine with me, Sassy Chef, Heather. Okay, so I have pork chop searing in my cast iron skillet. They are searing in avocado oil. Avocado oil has a high heat tolerance. Whenever you pan fry something, you wanna make sure that you're cooking with an oil that has a high smoke point and avocado oil is good for you. So we're sticking with that. Now, these are rubs of Chinese five spice, ginger, salt, and pepper. And whenever you're searing any kind of ingredient, be it steak or mushroom, pork chops, you wanna make sure that there's space between each object. That way it doesn't overcrowd the pan. Now you wanna get these nice and brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. And you can see how beautifully brown and caramelized these pork chops are, you see? All right, so I'm gonna give this about another minute searing in the pan, and then I'm gonna add some onions, some garlic, a little bit of coconut milk, and some coconut aminos, and I'm gonna throw them in the oven. So while that's finishing off in the oven, I'm gonna saute up some cabbage with a little bit of onion, vinegar, and coconut milk as well. So what I am creating today is five spice pork chops with creamed cabbage. These are nice and caramelized. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the oven. Let's add onion and garlic first on top to caramelize. And then I'm gonna hit it with just about a tablespoon of vinegar. Nice and smoky. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of coconut aminos, just a drizzle all throughout the pan. And then I'm gonna throw this in the oven for about five minutes or until the cabbage is done cooking. So I'm gonna throw that in the oven, and then I'm gonna put another pot on, another cast iron skillet. The fire is already going, the heat's already going, so my pan's gonna get nice and hot. And then once the pan gets hot, I'm gonna add the oil because that creates a nonstick surface. All right, so we're gonna get this pan nice and hot. It's good and smoky in here. All right, so avocado oil. I'm gonna go ahead and just cover enough on the surface of the pan. It's about two tablespoons. And I'm even gonna go ahead and pick up my pan to swirl the oil around. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cabbage directly in. And then I am going to add the onion right away. So I'm just gonna move this around. We're gonna saute it first and we're gonna turn the heat down and then add our salt, pepper, vinegar, and coconut milk. So this is gonna fry up nice. We don't want it to get too caramelized. We want the cabbage to be soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat down just a little, about medium. And I'm making a mess, because I'm a messy cook, messy chef. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a drizzle of salt and pepper. Now, Whenever I add my salt and pepper, I like to add it in a bullseye formation. And whenever I add an ingredient to a pan, I wanna add salt and pepper right away so that every bite has flavor. Salt is a flavor enhancer. You wanna make sure that when you taste something, it tastes good, right? All right, so tongs are usually my weapon of choice. <laughs> and I'm just gonna break up this cabbage a bit and saute it. And then I am going to finish this off. This is gonna take about perhaps maybe seven minutes to cook. And then I'll catch you with the finished product in just a second. So here is my finished product of my five spiced pork chops with coconut creamed cabbage. It's paleo, it's keto, it's freaking delicious, and it takes less than 30 minutes to make. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.